Hello my fellow couch potatoes, this is Nock and today I have a really special guest with us and it is... Thanks 87 <laughs> From Little Big Planet Tutorials So this is your pod and god it, I don't want to go back to my pod anymore <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you is it's a new 3D camera and this 3D camera is, well, we've all heard of 3D cameras in Little Big Planet mm -hmm. 2 and they all work quite well. And we've seen a couple in Little Big Planet 3 that work really well. But no one's ever shown you how to do it. Well, now I've been given the opportunity to show you guys exactly how to do it. It isn't me that has come up with this 3D camera. Mm -hmm. It's a guy whose PSN is Blockbuster95 and with Ariana. They both came up with it as a, as, it was a glitch originally. But Dude, now, awesome. yeah, now it seems to have become unglitched and it works well. Now for this to actually work, you need their specific level because it's a glitched level. So to get this camera to work, you need to download their level from their, their planet. I'm also mm -hmm. going to make it available in on my planet just to make it easier for people to get hold of. But the real kind of it was them that came up with it it wasn't me in any way shape mm -hmm. or form so this is a little level i produced mm -hmm. can you see this yeah I, I'm, I'm looking at you right now so at the moment the um the camera is set to the furthest tilt you can get on little big planet so this is the normal tilt this mm -hmm. is the top down games that everyone's making they're all good they look nice but they're not as good as the 3d tilt so as you can see, it's just changed, and it's now three-dimensional. That's awesome. I can walk around. Looks from a looks uh, looks like another game. It's like it does. It's interesting. But the difference being is that this has been pulled down slightly, tilted further than you can normally tilt the camera. Now this has the ability to tilt even further. The problem being is it becomes blurry, and some of the lighting and shading kind of gets a bit muddled up but I'll show you what it looks like mm-hmm so now we're oh, I get it further as you can see my characters blurry and the scenery too it's kind of blurry too yeah but this works perfectly if instead of a 3d um, third-person game if you wanted to make a first-person game that blur actually helps you it yeah, gives it your gun sense. a blur effect and it makes it so that your your eyes are looking ahead as opposed to down at the player or down at the gun that it would be. This is kind of an optimized view because there's very minimal blurring and mm -hmm. the lighting seems to work okay. And of course you've got the 360 de degree view of the camera so you can actually turn. It's a bit like the old Crash Bandicoot games where you it looked like turn it, yeah. around. And then obviously if you with a little bit of extra logic you can turn this into a full game. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the things like this bookcase, well, it's more of a kind of unit, mm -hmm. I made with basic materials. It's that the exact same way that I did the Epic Guns tutorial. These are just mm -hmm. basic shapes. I put them together to make it look like a unit where you'd store things. And it's looking really good. Same like as the, the oven. It's so, so well detailed, you know. And the, even the sink is random shapes, including the bath, the toilet, Everything is done with basic shapes. That's that's just awesome. Like every time we we produce a video or I watch your tutorials, I I got impressed by something that you come up. So this was your level, right? This is this is just this a test. is your level. Yeah, this like is not, a test level. Yeah, it doesn't actually. There's there's not actually any reason to play it, but it's it kind of shows you what you can do. Mm -hmm. um, with a little bit more logic, you can make a game. I've put in a tiny bit of logic so that I can rotate the camera so I can, a lot of games that I play, I play a lot of um, RPG type games, especially on the mm -hmm. PC. And um, every now and again, you'll have a player and you'll be like, oh yeah, I've got some really good gear. I bet I look awesome. And you want to rotate that camera to look at yourself, don't you? It's yes. very vain. So I've added in a rotation so I can look at myself. That's awesome. You're you're really <laughs> going all the way to create a game outside of Little Big Planet. That's just awesome. Um, which That's brings really me on good. to the next thing I want to show you, which is that was my 
first when I first got given the camera, that mm-hmm. was my first kind of attempt at having a look at what I could do. So then I played a little bit longer, mm-hmm. with it, and then I decided to make another one. So here is the next version of a kind of it's it's not finished at all in any way, uh-huh. shape, or form. But I'm hoping to finish it, and it's kind of uh, an RPG, just like I said. Okay, so here we are. We're a random soldier guy. Uh huh. Got an axe, and uh, we walk along. We've got some nice scenery going on. We've got a bit of a waterfall. And it's looking really camp. good. And then here, just like in World of Warcraft, we've got a guy with a for example. Mark. Nice, yeah. For example, <laughs> other games are available. Yes. <laughs> So he's got a question mark, so he'll have a quest for me. Probably to qu- collect some diamonds or something. I haven't worked it out yet. And okay. then in here would be a quest guy that I want to hand in the quest. I've done that quest. Mm-hmm. So I've worked a little bit on different things. So here's a couple of RPG-looking wardrobes and chest of drawers and stuff. So I, I decided to make a chest that is openable. Now, from our perspective, mm-hmm. ev- everything looks fine, but it's actually everything's attached to the back wall. So everything okay. flat is actually the back wall of Little Big Planet. So to make a chest that actually opens was quite difficult. So I eventually got around to doing it, and here it is. That's awesome. And then you'll be able to collect whatever was in the chest. Uh, so yeah, this will be eventually a full level that you'll be able to play once I've done it. Jesus, it's looking really good. Seriously, I, I want to play it right now. <laughs> <laughs> God, and this is the end of it, like right now. Uh, or right, yeah, is there? Yeah. No, no, I can't even open these doors yet. Okay, that's all right. God, it's awesome. It's re- looking really, really good. So it is possible, but it would take a little bit more work than what you'd normally do. However, okay. designing a level like this is exactly the same as if you were to design a level that was top down. So I've still got the top down camera, which is this. So uh-huh. this is the maximum tilt you can get from little big planet so mm-hmm. as you can see everything still looks good yes it still it, looks it nice is. and if you have a pre-existing level that is like this if you copy it and import it right if you if you uh, capture it sorry and mm-hmm. then open this level and drop it into this level it works because a lot of these things like the fireplace here and a few of the crates and the the water and stuff like that. That were they mm-hmm. were from a previous level I did that was top down, and I thought, well, this could be another top down game, but just from a just perspective. So uh, let me just try to understand here. Um, this situation that we have right now, this camera that you're showing right now to, uh, on the screen, yep. this is a glitch. Yep. That's awesome. Well, so it's, no. it. The camera is not the glitch. The level. Okay, is okay. The, the level is the glitch. I, I yeah. know, but the it situation the camera, that we got. In fact, mm-hmm. I will show you what it does to the camera. It will make okay. so much more sense. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works. We might have to do it with you doing it because of your. It's you in the screen. Okay. But I'll talk you through it. So we've placed down just a, a normal thing. Obviously, I've used a sack bot for mine. So mm-hmm. I've just placed down a piece of cardboard. And I've gone into my logic, and I've got out a normal camera. Mm -hmm. Now, if you press square onto that camera... Let me go there. Mm -hmm. And press Press square square. there. Okay. And now, click on the edit it, um, the the very top left one, which lets you move around the camera. Okay, and go and zoom. Yep. Now, zoom in completely. I think it's R2... Let me. I'm I'm doing it wrongly. Just a second. <laughs> no, so zoom no. In to okay, it's out you. Oh, I'm seeing it. So it goes. Have you got to six six hundred percent? Uh huh. And now using the left analog stick, tilt. Okay. Back in here. Okay. 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 I see it. So now you can tilt further than you could before. It's interesting. So this is the glitch. Yeah, the level causes the, level. the camera to act differently when it's awesome. zoomed in. However, if you zoom back out the camera to anything like 100%, like it's normal 100%, 
If well, you zoom it back here. out. I'm doing it, so I'm about to reach. Okay, 100%. So instead of having minus 600% or whatever it is, you have the normal 100%. If you try mm -hmm. and tilt it now, you get the normal tilt from Little Big Planet. I get it. So when you reach the top uh, amount of zoom that you can get, yep. it's going to be glitched. Exactly. That's awesome. Yep. That's really yeah. interesting. That's exactly how this glitch works. So uh, just wanted to check uh, like a last question here about this. Uh, you already did a 3D camera movement, right, in a uh, tutorial. I did a 3D movement, but that was on a 2D level. Yes. Yeah. And the the thing is that tutor tutorial still works in the situation of this glitch or it's going to be a new tutorial. It's going to ne need to be a new kind of logic. Uh, how, is, how is it going to work? The logic, uh, do, are you referring to the one where you can change layers? And uh, let me or see. Or are you talking about the really early one where I did the... Really, really early down. one. Yeah, really top down sackbot. Mm -hmm. That is the exact same logic that is used in this. Awesome. So nothing changes there, and I might even go back and update those to make them more up to date, more relevant mm -hmm. to this. So there might that... be tangents on this tutorial itself to make people make things a little bit better. Uh huh. No, it's a, it's awesome. So it, it's really, it's really, sorry, I'm so sorry for interrupting you. Oh. It's just because it's, it's something that, uh, it's really interesting to me seeing that even though a video from seven months ago is still, um, uh, kind of, I, I know that you need to update, update it, but it's kind of what you've been doing, you know? So it's, exactly. it's, fr uh, it's not something that people should not watch anymore. Actually, no, people no. should watch the first one and then go uh, for the updated one so you can like start learning about 3D model yeah. and 3D top-down views and, and then you go to 3D cameras in this glitch level. Yeah. So it's awesome, it's awesome. Yeah, all of the tutorials, I mean, particularly the uh, microchip um, tutorial, mm -hmm. people look at it and go, oh, I, know, I already know everything about microchips. Do you? Because mm -hmm. I constantly, every day when I'm playing on this, even if we look right here, I'm showing that I'm using it here. Let me... I've put a activation in it so that only when I've stopped moving will he do the shuffle movement, which is him rotating without moving. In the microchip tutorial, I teach you how to turn things off that can't be turned off. So for instance, mm -hmm. these rotating um, sensors here they mm -hmm. don't have an on and off switch, so you mm -hmm. can't turn them off. But using a microchip, you can turn it off. Mm -hmm. But most people just use a microchip to make it look pretty or to keep things categorized. That's awesome. It, it shows that you're full aware of all the tools that you can use on Little Big Planet. It's something that always surprised me how how well you can handle these things. And I know, I know, like there are a bunch of creators out there that are really, really, really good too. Yeah. It's really impressive how they handle this glitch. Yeah. Because it could be something that no nobody would know until they decided to, to go live with it. And now and you're and showing and me... And it's not only that, but they're one of the first creators that have got my concept where they've invented something cool or they've they've got a really good idea and they're sharing it with people. That's Still awesome. Big Planet's always been about sharing, but when you come across levels that use 3D cameras and stuff, they don't ever share how they did it or share it with you to, so you can do it. You might I think watch the awesome. video of how to do it, but the whole level that you create is your creation. Even if you mm. used every single video of mine and put every single thing in it, it's still something that you've achieved yourself. Because it's not copying. It's not, no. it's not just uh, uh, copying and pasting the, yeah, the whole level. No, you've it's put, awesome. You've put time and effort into what you've done. You deserve credit for it. So now I'm wearing some diamond armor, which will be later on in the game. That's awesome. This is looking <laughs> really good, by the way. We've got traps. Mm -hmm. Lots of other things happening. Doors to unlock. 
But so, yeah, the gravity, the, what yeah, you call okay. the gravity gun, it's um, actually the magnetic gun. The magnetic gun, nice. And um, it, it was actually a request from someone to make a magnetic gun. And it is, it's, it's really simple. It is pretty much a tag on a piece of material, a sticker panel material in front of the gun. And the ball, when you hold down R1, is attracted to that tag. Mm 